my nose is doing that thing where I don't want it to cry. from the balmy cold Rexburg, Idaho. We are so excited today, you guys. We are going up to Island Park. It's like a little slice of paradise. So we're gonna go see our friend's cabin up there. It's gonna be a fun day. Just exploring and seeing the fall colors. This will be like the only time we've gone into a canyon mountain this whole fall. Yeah. You got, and she's got Elmo, so we're good to go. We are actually on our way to our favorite little restaurant here. We have a few things we do when we come to Rexburg. Like One of which is going to a little like Ma and Pa sound shop called Mahalo. Hey, and came out to me and whispered, can we go to Mahalo? Yeah. Like, yes, yes, sweet girl, we will. Sorry for your grilled cheese. Oh, so pumped. So do you pumped. never feel like more of a two-year-old than when you order grilled cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Look right through here, the Tetons are Oh my goodness, you guys see those mountains? These are the mountains you can see from the back of our property. We're a little bit closer to them right now. But people come from all over the world to hike that mountain. I don't know why it's such an important mountain. I mean, it's gorgeous, but like, we're going on the mountain. There's an iconic mountain right there, so you guys can see, you've seen, you've seen the Grand Tetons. There's Jackson Holes right there. Wow, beautiful. We are here in Island Park. What are you doing? Are you showing everybody how awesome your haircut is? That, you know what that does, Palmy? It's not, she says, Beckham, you wanna be my pet? So you actually put this on your foot, like this. Good. And then you're gonna throw this and try to jump over it. Nope, so watch, I'll show you. Nope, oh, no, don't put both feet in it. Okay, one foot in. How many people here are as old as me and they know what this toy is? No, look, I'm gonna show you. It's called a, a, a skip boat. What are these called? No, they don't go on your head. Can I try? Watch. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my favorite. We're gonna show them. Okay, so now you throw it. And I, yep, there you go, ready? Now I'll do it, ready? We're gonna throw it. One, two, three. See? Oh no, where did it go? Okay, close enough. One, two, three, jump. Good, now twirl your leg, good. You're gonna whip it around with that leg, good. And then it'll jump again, good jump. Good, good, good jump, good, now jump over it. Wow, the talent in that cute little body. We just made it up to Island Park. <laughs> You hear how loud we are? This is funny to me. On our way up, we stopped at Walmart and we got some like really good Halloween cookies, right? You know, like the really sugary ones. So I told the kids, if we went on a walk, anybody who saw an animal could have a cookie. Well, I don't think there's gonna be an animal within two miles, but we are having fun. So we are here today with my best friend all growing up. We were born, same house as next door and have been inseparable since. So we are here visiting her. Her parents just bought this beautiful cabin up here. So bright on a place called Bill's Island. So we are exploring in the mud and the snow and the happy feelings. She's gonna warm shoes. What do you get if you find an animal? Oh, are you sharing with Emery? <gasps> Luckily, Sarah was really sweet and had a baby friend for each of my kids. Little Emery is two weeks younger than Peyton, and Aisley's just a few months older than, or sorry, Palmer. Did I call you Peyton? I call you Peyton. And then we have Aisley and Peyton that are close in age, and Carter and Cruz. What animal are you looking for today? Some big game. We're talking like moose, deer. No. In fact, if anybody sees a moose, I don't know what I'll more give you. What? More cookies, more money, more something. Yay. More money? So keep your eyes out for a moose. A tiger. You want a ruby tiger? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Palmer is on her adventure looking for a ruby tiger. Palmer, if you find a ruby tiger, I will give you $400. Oh. Because that's not a real thing, but it's fine. There's a car coming, baby. <laughs> Making weird bets again. Remember last time with the oh well. Here's, did he get it? No, I hit it. I hit it with the spark. So here was the bet JD made. JD made a bet that he would do ten push-ups in the mud if Carter could hit that skinny little tree with the snowball. If you hit it from where I am to that middle tree right there, the middle skinny one or the big thick one. So if you're behind Dad and you can hit it, he will do ten push-ups in the mud. And everybody gets one shot. But one at a time, so we'll start with Aisley then. Do you just remember the last bet JD made about putting the kids to bed? He was scary close. I gotta stop making bets with this guy. Oh, oh she almost hit it. All right, P-Money, get dad in the mud. Payback for all the mud in between your toes. Things are heating up. JD just said, if you hit the tree, I'll carry you the rest of the walk. Poor tree, how does it feel to have everybody gunning for you, buddy? All right, ready? The time is winding down. <laughs> so close! Last chance! All right, Carter. Oh, oh. Boom. All right. oh sure. Make it look easy. All right, Cruz. Oh no, your mom's not gonna love that. Oh, Sarah, I'm sorry.
Sorry. Oh you guys, you don't really have to do it. You don't really have to do it. Oh my gosh. All of the Corvus children. You're gonna be so muddy. Get up, get up, get up. Oh my gosh. Your mom's never gonna let you hang out with us again. Mom, are you doing your push-ups? That's what happens. It's a rough life, huh? How come you missed? I was looking forward to dad doing the push-ups. <laughs> I would not want him to. Okay, hop off, I'm gonna fall. Deer poop, everyone. Deer poop, Palmy. There might be a deer around. Somewhere in these, See, there's some deer. Mama, you found, you found deer poop? Then that deer us to the deer. You're right, if we could follow the deer poop, it would lead us to the deer. Yeah. Okay, so where's the deer poop? Show your sister. She found deer poop right there. And she's saying if we follow the deer poop, it could lead us to the deer. Yeah. You gotta be close. Wait, let's see it. Gross. Okay. Are you gonna taste it's, it's it to make sure that's fresh. what it is? Oh, don't you dare touch that. Please tell me that is a rock. Did you just pick up poop? You would be sleeping on the couch. You've never earned a couch sleeping, but you pick up deer poop with your hand and you are earning a couch not, sleeping. Fun, Palm? Yeah. She's gonna fall in and it's given me a lot of stress. <laughs> I've never She's been like just fine. child leash kind of person, but I feel like I wish I had one right now. Put your boot in there. Don't put too much of your boot in there. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, put your feet up. Good job. Are you taking that home with you? Yeah. I'm taking so this home. Is that your walking stick? Yes. Okay. Cute walking stick, Palmer. Let me see your walking stick. That is so cute. You look adorbs, babe. Very, very boat down the ready with his teeth. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a submarine. Go all the way to the end. Go on a mission. They're going on a mission. Oh, hey, careful, careful. careful. We just got a call that Rocky is awake, so we hurried home as fast as we can. JD is in helping the kids go potty, and we are gonna head back to reality, back to Rexburg. And then in the morning, we will head back down to Utah after church. So we will see you the next day where we will be doing so much prep for Rocky's first birthday. I walked out the stairs today. My nose is doing that thing where I don't want it to cry. I walked downstairs today and just like walked into JD's arms and started crying because Rocky's gonna turn one and I hate it so much. I feel like having him be our last child has kind of like hit me more this year. Like it does feel right, but also it's like the hardest decision I have ever made. And I am like not struggling that I think it's wrong, but struggling that it's hard. If my body could do it, I think I would have kids forever because I love, love, love my babies, but my body just can't. I have had so many things have happened to my body. I mean, just like the dentist yesterday is a great example. Or preeclampsia or all the other, my, like, remember how I had to get that ultrasound on my stomach? Like, my organs literally are shutting down when I'm pregnant. Trying to make this decision, like, do we for sure feel good about being done having kids is, like, breaking my heart. But I think, I think we are. Oh! Saying it out loud makes it feel like more cement. There's no reason I have to make this decision right now, right? Okay, I'm gonna continue to just put it on the back burner because, you know, I can do that. Right now, you guys, I'd say it's like a 90-10. Oh, there comes Palmer. I would say it's a 90-10 that Team Hour is all here and complete. We'll see. Okay, I got a little angel here. I'm gonna go help buckle her up. Thanks for being here today, guys. I hope you enjoyed beautiful Island Park. We will see you tomorrow when we will be prepping for Rocky's birthday. Goodbye, Mickey. Goodbye. Can you blow a kiss? Say like. Ay, ay. And. And. What comes next? Mickey. No, not Mickey. Subscribe. Subscribe. What does it mean to subscribe? Um, Mickey. You have peanut butter all over your face. When they subscribe, it means they get to be part of our videos every day, huh? Yay! Yay! <laughs> That's how excited you should be about it. All right, guys. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Wait, can you put your cute little hand over it like this? Go. Put your cute little hand. No, not over this, that part. Put your hand over this part. Boom! Crash!